Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is my 2019 Ford F-150. I just bought it a couple of months ago and I was never a big fan of Ford. Like, since I was looking for truck, I was looking for Toyota Tundra or GMC Sierra with a 6.2. Those two are the are my favorite, were my favorite trucks. Still, I love them a lot. But after I test drove this one, I think by far this is the best suit for my family. But not saying Tundra or Sierra are bad trucks. G uh, when I test drove Toyota Tundra, that was the th truck I thought I would buy, but after when I asked my wife to drive the truck and I was sitting in the back, I think that ride was a little bit bouncier, which I would not recommend because I have a family, my son right in the back if you go for a longer trip. I think that was a perfect choice for me. GMC Sierra, great truck, but again, I think the Ford rides a little better and the price point was it's, it's a much better price point. Um, living with this truck two and a half months, I have not 1200 miles in it. So far, I have nothing but a good, uh, very good thing to say about this truck. There's a few areas that Ford kind of cheaped out, which are like, I would say the dashboard, one of the points, I didn't, I think they could do a better job with that. Besides that, the engine is so good, man. The 5.0 V8 Coyote, it sounds like, it will blow your mind. Not saying that 3.5, the twin turbo is any bad engine, but uh, I was always looking for the V8 anyway. Here, let me show the engine bay how it looks like on the Coyote V8. One of the thing I like this truck though, the rim I got here, it's a really nice rim I think. It doesn't look like cheap after aftermarket real uh, rims or anything. And the wheel I got LT275, which is, um, there's very minimal road noise. I did put ceramic coating on the truck a couple of weeks ago. Let's see how it hold up. This one also has, uh, the step up you can in the tailgate this is a little bit of pad paddle where you can put your feet and then step to the truck which is really a good attachment i would say and also the st side step like this here you can go up and see what's in your truck and the sound system i would say the basic sound system is not that bad it's not gonna blow your socks off but it's a very good sound system, I would say. If you're in the market for truck, I used to test drive Toyota, test drive Chevy, test drive Ford, Ram, whatnot, because they all have their plus and minus. None of them are perfect. If you're a big Chevy fan, you're gonna say tons of bad things about Ford, like fix on the road daily or found on road dead. If you're a Ford fan, you're gonna say tons of crap stuff about Chevy. Some of them may true, some of them may not true, but I would say they all of their positive and negative thing. Sometimes it, Ford was the best suit for my family. You should need to find, you need to find yours. Don't stick with what your family always drove. Go out and try yourself. Maybe your family always drove Ford, but you'll find that you are a big Chevy fan or the other way. Or even a Tundra. Tundra is a really good truck, I would say. It hasn't, it feel kind of dated inside compared to other trucks, but it's still a good truck. Toyota Tundra, one of the things I didn't like, it's a great truck, very reliable truck, but um, I have kid, and then we do travel, road, we, take, we do take road trips sometime, and I think the Tundra has um, the back seat, a little bit more bouncier ride. So if you're in the market for truck, and if you have family, I would say, sometimes let your partner or let your wife drive the truck, you sit in the back seat and see how it feels. I have nothing but good thing to say about this. I uh, love, love, love it. I love how it rides, how it sounds and everything. Gas mileage wise, I would say uh, the first day, funny story. 
First day when I was driving from the dealership to my home, I got 12.5 MPG because it has 100 miles on it that time. Now I have eight, now I get 18.5 every day, like when I take a road trip in this truck. Here, let me show you something inside my truck here. I have the XLT, yeah, but I put this leather seat in it, cat skin, which, oh man, is so much better than the OEM. Leather, it feels good, it looks good. Here, the thing I was talking about, look at this. And this is what I was talking about, like how big is this area is. I can even sit here and talk to you all day. Having a picnic here, how about that? And if you fold this seat, there is a nice storage over here. You can store many things here. Um, your deck, uh, spare pump, tools, whatnot. Even you can camp here, you can lie down like this. And ah, so yeah, there we go. The back seat is one of the big thing on this F-150, which I like. And I'll show you the interior a lot more. But another thing I like on my truck, because one of the thing I like the G uh, new GMC Sierra is their um, the tailgate design. This is, to be honest, one of the best tailgate design I've seen so far. I love that thing. And but the price point was, I think, a little too high just for the tailgate. Let me show you something what I have in my truck. Oh, that came with the truck as well. Our dog Bogey. He's a Bouvier. Hey, Bogey. So this is the thing I have. This is something I think everyone should have. This is uh, so convenient when you have your um, lot of things to load in the truck bed. This is one of the most um, useful thing you can get. And I didn't have to pay anything extra for this. It was in this package. So yeah, there we go. So how this F-150 ride on the highway? So we are right driving around 70, 75 miles now. 75 miles per hour and it's very quiet. It's very, very quiet. I'm not using a microphone to record this video. I'm just using my cell phone and it's built-in mic. And you can see or hear how clear my conversation is with you. And um, the, not bumpy at all. The road is not that smooth here I'm driving. And no, I'm not feeling any bump or anything. You can carry a conversation with your partner without raising your voice that high because you don't need it. But you might get tempted to roll down your window and just let this V8 let go and you can hear the soothing noise of the V8. Though all my windows are up now, so you're not going to hear anything outside. But this coyote can hum. Like, I'm doing 73 and I'm barely like tapping my gas pedal at all. Like, touching it and it goes like 74, 75. So, this is it, guys. It rides very smooth. And you can enjoy It's a road trip truck, I would say, the family. You can haul all, load all your stuff at the back of the truck and then just take the trip. You're welcome.